Hello beautiful people and welcome to another Flutter episode and today I'm going to share with you my top Flutter extensions I use for VS Code. So um, these are my favorite, you don't have to use them but I'll suggest you just check them out because you may like them. So let's get started. So to access our extensions all you have to do is simply go to this um, I don't know what it is, like a Tetris thingy. Click on that and you'll get to see your current installed extension. So I'm going to say Flutter and Dad are part of them because uh, you literally need them to be able to use Flutter in VS Code. So make sure you did this. We did this in the previous tutorial. If you haven't seen that, please check the link in the description. Anyway, so to start off, we are going to look at the first one which is going to be awesome flutter snippets so awesome flutter snippets did i make a mistake okay huh. got me scared for a moment there all right so this is what we are looking for awesome flutter snippets by nivash ramdial Ram um, i hope i haven't butchered the name but this is what we're looking for and basically what this does for you is give you handy shortcuts for you to speed up your development okay so that you don't have to waste time typing the same code every single time you need them so um for example if you needed a stateless widget or a stateful widget this is just a shortcut you can use to get that if you needed something like init state this is just what you have to type if you need to dispose there you go so i'm going to go ahead and install this now all of this will come into play as we later go ahead in this tutorial so don't worry so much about what it does you get to see what all of these things do the second extension i really like is the bracket pair colorizer 2 so yeah it either works just go with two and this basically colors each of your bracket pairs so you can see which is which so for example in this method you can see here we have this pink opening and so pink closing so you can clearly see which opens and closes and you can see the same for here so very handy i'm going to go ahead and install that the next on the list we are going to look at is dot data class generator so this guy right here so basically this helps you generate data classes very very easily um don't worry if you don't know much about dart and classes all of these would we'll go through them but basically from the demo here you can see you have a class you have some variables in there you need to initialize them create your constructors and all those other things you have to do this class literally just sorry this extension literally just does that for you on the fly so very handy once so i'm going to install this too and then the next on the line is error lens and it's one of my favorites but then if, if you are somebody who doesn't like to see red on the lines and red comments and things like that um <laughs> i'll still suggest of course it really helps so what this does is that it just lets you see errors before you even execute them so for example um, this is missing like a bracket so you can see it tells you that before you execute and you get an error it tells you a lot of things that you're doing wrong so depending on um, what the type of error so you can see if it's just a warning might work without any issue but if it's fatal then it will let you know so you can clearly or visually see that okay I left something I'm missing something I'm not doing something right before you actually try to execute so I really recommend this really really recommend this so the next on the line is um, flutter color so this next one basically that's this guy right here is it really helps you when you're dealing with things like hex code helps you to see the exact color that you have typed or most often you would pick your hex code from the internet so you already know what the color is but as time goes on you might forget oh what what was this color okay so like you can see here yes you can see it's white and as soon as it's done you can see it shows in there this also if i'm not mistaken gives you a handy um what do you call it 
color picker within there and I am somebody who struggles with colors a lot so this is quite handy for me and like I said these are my personal preferences you can also check out some of these to see if you might prefer them and um, forgive me if you can hear some frogs um, I don't know what frogs do but yeah it rain heavily and so they are all over the place and yeah interrupting my audio anyway so I'm going to head on and install this so like I said feel free to check out some of these so for example this basically highlights your colors in this form so that you know what they are but I'm sticking with flutter color here so I have just installed that the next one I'm going to look at is image preview so yes this guy right here so what this does is that you insert some assets into flutter and then um, you you want to see what a thing is on the fly sort of so what this does is if you have an image within your line of code you get to see it on the side of your um, let me just come here so you get to see it on the side here so that you know exactly what this image is what it looks like it helps you clear your mind like oh what am i doing what is here and what's not there so yeah it's, it's one of my favorites there it's just a nice thing to see that oh this is the actual image i have just inserted right on the fly so moving on to the next we are going to look at um material so material icon theme so right here so basically what this does is um so if i go back to this you can see all of these just look like um greater than apart from these few ones so basically these just give your icons a, a nicer look so give them folders and depending on the type of file extension you have it also changes them to to match so if i go back here do they have a demo so you can see all these type of icons that are here so depending on what you're doing it will just change the icon to look like it so if you're doing some php stuff and things like that you get to see that it changes so some arduino it would look like that so i'm going to install this and i'm going to set yeah so if i should quickly show you this now you can see how this looks nice so again this is one of those things i would always say make sure you enjoy your playground okay it's one of those things if you don't enjoy the look and feel of your ide then you might probably not want to work there okay so yeah it's like a playground if you don't enjoy your playground why would you go there it's one of those things so i am on the side of eye candy stuff i want to see my id looks cool but i'm working with it so i feel cool you know anyway so the next thing is pop spec assist so right here and if you don't know what this is so basically um as, as you develop you would start um, incorporating other people's code so packages so you go to pub.dev and then get a package name bring it put it in your pubspec.yaml file and then get the package in there this basically shortens that entire process so as you can see in the demo all you have to do is just call in pubspec assist type the package that you need and then it takes care of the rest for you you don't have to go to pub dev i mean pub dev is quite useful especially if it's the first time you're using a package then you probably want to read more about it than fine but apart from that really really handy so i'm going to go ahead and install that and for now guys this would be my top flutter extensions that i like to use and oh i almost forgot one so this is an eye candy thing so in terms of the general look of my id i like to use the atom one dark theme by mahmoud ali so this first one again i don't do light theme so you're not going to see me using any of that so this is what i like to use i'm going to just install this and you can see my editor looks kind of cool so again i would urge you to feel free go through try out a bunch of themes figure out one that works best um, if previous um sorry if in later episodes you see my id looks a little bit different that means i have been experimenting here and there i like to 
feel comfortable working with my ID it makes me more relaxed so yeah it's one of those things so nothing really has changed it gives you a different type of syntax highlighting which I feel is cool and so yeah guys these would be my top flutter extensions that I would use and as time goes on we may add few but those I like to have before I start doing anything serious are these um, are they up to 10? Not really sure. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, something like that. And um, just to add some finishing touches, okay. Um, these, um, the font size is too small. And if you're new to VS Code, then I'll suggest you make some of these changes. Try to explore and then get comfortable with the ID. If you're using another ID, then I, I guess you know. Um, how to take care of that but a few things I'll touch here is I'll go to file I'll go to preferences and I'll go to settings in here I'm going to go ahead and change the font size to something like um, 20 and then the font family so this is the type of font you want to use within the um, ID so for example you can see my font size is a lot bigger now and then this is the font type I'm using the family so this is console as I believe as we saw yeah so I'm going to change this and one of the fonts I like uh, Fira code is common I've used Fira code for a while but um, I have just grown to love a font called Victor Mono and you should try it out so the way we do this is if you are trying to do this if your font is just one name like as you can see monospace right here you just type it in so I'm going to put in a comma and I'll go back okay see what I did there so if your font size is monospace you just type in like monospace in there just like that okay and you're done but if your font has like two parts something like Korea new something like that then you need to put them in single quotes like this and of course Victor Mono is um, two words if I would say so a single quote and I'm going to type in Victor Victor space Mono and then my single quote to close that okay and if we check this out yeah that looks a lot better for me okay you can see the comments are a little bit italized and stuff like that so that is one touch and the final thing i'll leave you guys with is um it, it can you can be forgetful and i am a lot after modifying a file for example if i should just hit like enter you notice how we have this um white dot over there it simply means this file hasn't been saved and sometimes you make changes and then you run your emulator and it doesn't work it sorry and you think what's going on it's simply because you forgot to save so um just to get rid of that i usually use auto save on just by clicking on this and you can see it saves that so once i click here it auto saves up when i type in something that makes sense so you can see error lens is already working right here so i'm going to get rid of this and then that would auto save now there are some cases where this might be annoying but for the most parts this works perfectly for me and that's it guys for this video and um, as always if you liked and you enjoyed this video please like and then subscribe and then share this video and on that note this has been happy cat and i'll see you on the next further tutorial